right back again with my Heartless playthrough where we have a brand new shiny spaceship custom built I had planned to make an explorer but we found a really cool fighter and I couldn't help myself I had to do it and here it is the blind perseverance get rid of this hut get back to our roots general hut disabled this is it. This is this beautiful beast. Now, it's supposed to have metallic paint. Caroline seems to think I don't have metallic paint, but I did look at the footage. And I think the metallic paint was clicked. Unfortunately, it's not as black as I would like for this to be black. But, hey, it's not bad. Not a bad piece of work. But I've got a lot to do to build it up, and I have to sort out my other ship. Then we've got to do all the daily stuff. I'm rich. I'm kind of rich. So let's get started. I need my other ship, and I need to scrap it. But I need all the tech move to this ship. So we've got a lot of work to do to get this ship up to snuff. And somehow I have to sort all this crap out as well. I kind of need an inventory to... It's so awkward not having a freighter to transfer stuff. What does my Colossus look like right now? A lot of chromatic metal for some reason. Probably too much. Just offload some of that. This also shouldn't be in it. This should be in ingredient storage. Ingredient storage. Ingredient storage. Ingredient storage. I don't quite know why that's in Colossus. That's just not been sorted. Looks like we've got excess this and excess this. Right. Hey Diana. First to the stream you are indeed. Congratulations. I mean, I have only just turned on, but you're, you're welcome here. Now, how do I do this in a way that's not quite so... I think I'm just going to have to put everything on my suit and then sort it out afterwards. So let's start with that. Actually, firstly, storage. Storage, storage, storage. All this stuff we want to keep, although this should be in storage. All this stuff we want to keep. So all of this can go on my suit for now, and we'll have to sort that out later. Although this can go in storage, because I'll need those later. Yes. This stuff we still don't know how to get rid of yet. Right, we're denuding the ship. We now need to store technology. All this technology I want on my other ship. Apparently I can't store this because it's my only weapon. So we'll have to build that. Slightly annoying, not gonna lie. I've got such crappy upgrades. But now that I've got a new ship, that I don't mind building and expanding. So if I were to put a, a crap weapon, like a potent cannon, how much does it cost to build this thing? Infra knife, infra knife, infra knife, where are you? I don't see it. Well, this is fairly cheap, so let's put this here so I can take this away. Beautiful. All of this is dead to me. Dead to me, dead to me, dead to me. So all of this needs to go on my other ship. So for now, it goes to my suit. This ship is now dead to me. It's renamed as such. Dead to me. I'll of junk. 
Beautiful. <laughs> Your hubby, daughter, and all have got jumpers that have a duck. It's been taped with duct tape. <laughs> You'll have to search your picture in the Discord. We'll have a look at that. Right. Um, this ship is dead to me and I don't need it anymore. Slightly un unsettling that I have a little bit of fuel left over, but what can you do? This ship is not dead to me. I must admit, this metallic gold doesn't really look very gold, does it? Slightly disappointed. I wanted the gold like Golden Vector's got. However, it does look pretty nice, the blend perseverance. Right, so first things first, let's put all of this onto this ship and sort it out, because that's the easy stuff. And I guess all my storage augments are going to have to go to increasing my tech slot so I can actually build the ship. Hmm. Don't really have much room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have exactly enough for now. Although probably let's just nip to a space station and install augments so we have slots. So I can build it even more. I have one here. What have I done with the rest of them? Ah, I have seven here. We have eight. I can have eight more tech slots. Let's go do, go do that to start things off. Now, if I'm going to go to a space station, I want to go to one that's got resources in. Now, interestingly, last time we played, my system where I do my shopping for my chromatic metal seems to have changed. And I want to go have a look, because it used to have sulfurine gas as well. Which also seems to... no, something didn't it? Which is this one. Let's go over here, build out my ship, and see if the shopping stuff is still messed up. I think that last update might have changed the shops. Which is a bit of a big update, which maybe was unintended. Hey Anna, how are you doing? So I used to come here for chromatic metal and gold. Yesterday it was something different. And today it's something different too. I did paraffinium, which I think I need. So I think the update changed the shops. Although I think these things didn't get changed. A traveller, a glyph, potential. I'm not really out farming glyphs at the moment. Soft print, I'll take it. I'll also put fuel on my starship. Will I also buy this stuff? We have money now. I can buy this stuff again, can't I? Buy this stuff so that we can make it into better stuff. Because that is my game plan for making money. Right, let's sort out these slots on my ship. Give myself a bit more tech slots. I am slightly disappointed with the colour, I have to say. It is what it is. Right, upgrade starship. Now I could actually spend money to get a slot whilst it's cheap. It is a lot of money though. Hey Michal, how are you doing? And these augments are not that easy to come by in vast quantities. Although we do get them over time. Hannah's watching a Microsoft business event with the biggest concentration of sincere business buzzword jargon I've ever seen. Sounds right up your street. Upgrade class 125,000 nanites. It's only an S class, thank God. I think, do I waste 15 million for one storage augment? 15 million is a lot, isn't it? I don't think I'm going to bother. Uh, we'll, we'll get the storage augments over time. 
what I do want is all tech slots because my priority is to make the ship as strong as I can so I can go murder pirates finally which means I want lots of tech slots and that's all I've got I'm out, we're broke as good as I can get it with capacity right, let's install some of this crap I've got a couple of bonus things and I can now spend nanites on ship stuff question is do we go x-class modules or do we get basic stuff in s-class first I suppose I could have a look to see if there's anything of note here mm. ship vendor upstairs I'm kind of surprised that the shops have changed and I don't quite know what that means for me other than the information I had is gone this is the wrong shop I don't want that I want the ship guy it's not that guy either this guy over here why hello sir I want infra knife please infra knife upgrades one time Base beam, buzzard drum. Uh, we also need to think about our discount, don't we? Hmm. Wait, do you get discounts for X class modules? Wait. We get discount if you have outlaw. Damn, that's a good ship. That's a nice looking ship. Damn, son. Wow. I want this ship. Wait, this ship is mine. <laughs> this ship's not bad either, actually. But not as good as this ship. This ship is the button. Wait, how, how are we doing? So probably for now, I want my infra knife in a weapon slot so it does more damage. So if it's not in a weapon slot, it does 7,000. If it's in a weapon slot, it does 11,700. Now, if it's in this one, it's exactly the same. And if I put this one next to it, 13,000 damage. Interesting. Right. Now, what about my rockets? 3,500. Or would I rather have something else in there? Honestly, don't know. I think we need all the damage we can get, to be honest. Right. Shields I have A class. Pretty crap to be honest. Hyperdrive, I've got some minor upgrade. You yeah, know these upgrades are particularly good. Launch thruster and Boating Cannon Bloody Photon Cannon, get that off my ship. What the hell? Voting cannon. Who uses a voting cannon these days? Right. That's as good as we make it so far. And let me sort out my suit. So you belong on the ship. You belong on the ship. You belong on the ship. Tritium belongs on the ship. Some tritium belongs on suit, probably for my trade rocket. You belong on the ship. I should be doing quite well with my suit slots, mean. How far? Is it just one more row? Or have I already maxed this? I haven't maxed this yet. Right. Time to go home. Uh, need to sort out the rest of the inventory, really. Let me just nip to another space station shop. See if I can go to one of my redone. So I got some sulfur in. I think we, we want to find a number of space stations that sell the gases so I can do a little loop of gas farming this gases is what's holding up me making money now nothing seems to be named which is a bit surprising because I should have something named Radon, this one's named is that the only one? I thought I did more than one Petty Waxer, when's the Planet Crafter 
Multiplayer? Wait, can you play multiplayer in Planet Crafter? I didn't even know that was a thing. Can you? Are you sure? Right, I'm in a radon system so I can pick up some radon. Just checking here. I'll take more paraffin for my paraffinium reserves. I also want to check the ship bender in case there's an infra knife. Um, I should also be checking the mission vendors. Oh god, I, probably I should be going to new systems. Cyclotron launch thruster. No, I don't really have much in the way of nanites. We kind of spent it all to make this ship. Ray done. And free fuel. I'll take it. What about this? This becomes better stuff. You know what? I'm just I'm just gonna buy it for now. We're just gonna assume that eventually I will make better money. Now, I think I'm out of circuit boards, which means I'm out of quantum processors, which means I can't make anything at the moment. That will eventually sort itself. Let me just double check the mission vendor whilst we're here. Kill ten creatures. Yes, please. St C class reactor for free. Why would I want a free C class reactor? Like, what does one do with a free C class reactor? It sounds like something that's not particularly useful. Storage augment. See, if I had a decent ship, which I'm almost getting a decent ship, but it's not really decent yet. I might think about that, because low level pirates I should be able to handle. Storage augment is premium upgrade. But as of yet, my ship still sucks. I basically don't have any upgrades. That is a future me problem. Right, so that's the Raiden station. I think there was another one. Wait, there should be a nitrogen one as well, no? Did I not name it? Alien multi-tool. I need to go here to farm my freighter. We could have a quick wander there, actually. Hmm... I'm sure we had a nitrogen system, didn't we? Did I forget to name it? Damn it. We definitely had a nitrogen. We had all three gases. It wasn't my alien one, was it? I'll tell you what. Let's go to my alien multi tool system where there's a black and gold freighter. And we'll have a quick look. See if we get lucky with an S class. I hope it's. I have enough money. If I've just bought those stupid things and now I don't have enough money to buy an S class freighter. If we find one, I'd be slightly miffed. Sell so reactor for nanites, I guess. I, don't, I doubt you'll get very much for a C class reactor. We still haven't found a bloody mercenary envoy guild. I've got these bloody pirate things. Nitrogen. So the nitrogen is at my... You know what, I'm saving the money for now until I see if I've got enough for an S-Class freighter. I'm not sure how much a, a tiny S-Class freighter costs. And this is the system. Wait, I forgot the ship vendor. Just what? I just want an infra knife upgrade so I have a little bit more damage, please. Or a shield upgrade. Launch depository. Why? Why do none of them have the thing I need? It's like they know. Do I buy my multi tool, by the way? This is my multi tool place. No, 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 no. Let's just have a quick look at my multi tool. Remind myself, this is my multi tool. I mean, one could say there's black and gold there. One might be cheating the truth slightly. Hmm. Hmm. Just don't like the look of it that much. I kind of like the lipstick ones with a black crystal. Perhaps we wait till we find another multi tool. Right, let's have a quick look for my freighter in this freighter system. 
Why, hello, sir. I did have a playthrough with these X-Wings. Ooh. Do I want an X-Wing Explorer? Black and gold. Maybe? Except I can't do black and gold. Crap. Why don't they have black? Why is it, Why would they not have put black as a colour for ships? Don't get it. Right, so I want freighters. How do we find freighters? We look on our HUD like this and see if there's something blue. And it's not here. So we pulse. Try and make it appear somewhere. Yes? No? Maybe? Nothing. By the way, my ship's not that good yet. Like, we haven't found any upgrades yet at all. Come on, freighters. I oh, want a freighter. One time. Looking for the S-Class, which I will buy. Because it's black and gold. Not exactly the design they would choose, but I mean, what are the odds we find a black and gold freighter? Pretty slim. Although you can colour your freighters though, can't you? But you, I don't think you can colour them black and gold. Can you? Certainly not without a lunar night. But where are these freighters? Hello? Nothing's happening. Those two red dots, are those pirates? They were... No, they're ships. Why is there two friendly ships here? What are they doing? I don't know. Yeah, farming these freighters is slightly annoying. I wonder if there's a way that I can do it to make it more reliable. It may be because you've got no ship kills. What are you talking about, no ship kills? I've got a glorious amount of ship kills. By a glorious amount, I have a few. How many do I have, actually? Mercenaries killed. Ship kills. Pirates shut down. Six. I've got six kills. No kills. Don't know what you're talking about. And why would the amount of ship kills you have mean you'd get a mercenary guild? Surely... There's an explorer guilds, there's merchant guilds. Surely mercenary guilds should just be another one. No bloody freighters here. Why? Yeah, man. Okay, something going wrong. Like, why is there no freighters here? Didn't they waste boarding? What is your bank balance? 40 million. Normally an S-Class freighter is prohibitively expensive. But I'm talking about the tiny ones over here. These tiny ones are not as expensive. The downside is they don't have very many slots. However, this is black and gold. My color scheme. Also black and gold frigates, but I can't get frigates until I get a freighter. But this freighter here is black and gut, which matches my ship and matches my Colossus, matches my suit. And if it's an S class, I will procure it. And if it costs more, less than 50 million, but more than 40 million, I'm going to be slightly pissed. Because I literally just had that. Doesn't look gold inside here. It looks yellow. Damn it. I've got a black and yellow ship. Why? I don't know. Then I've got a black and yellow suit, kind of. 
The gold doesn't look as gold as the golden vector or the gold of my suit, and I don't quite know why. Well, hello, sir. What class are you? And how expensive are you? Because I will offer C-class you. Damn it. That's four out of four C-classes. Four out of four. I could buy the C-class. I don't, ain't nobody got time to buy a C-class. Like, why would I buy a C-class? C-class, like, that's Palapu. Oh, bother. I wanted to shop. I was going to buy some flowers. Buy some flowers from you instead. Can I buy flowers from you? Yes, frost crystal. I take it all. Right, let's take the blind perseverance. I might try one more fleet of freighters whilst we're here. Can I get frigates before I get freighted? No, there's no way. Some heartless. I don't know which frigate. Slightly interesting that this one red and gold. But interesting, it's slightly disappointing. Because the support one is also red and gold. Combat one is red and gold. The frigates are red and gold. Am I under attack? Ah, oh, you bastards. Ship's not that good. Four million units? No. I can always summon the Nexus. We get it. Right, we're taking it out for a spin. The ship for the very first time. Wait, do I have sodium? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Oh god, I don't have sodium. Emer emergency, emergency escape. I left all the sodium at home. Oh, what have I done with the sodium? Wait, actually, where is my sodium? God, I almost killed myself. Wait, it's on my suit. So why didn't they let me charge with sodium? <laughs> Put it on the ship. I don't understand. It said I had zero sodium. God, that made me panic. <laughs> ah, thank God. We're alive. Right, now that we're here... Um... We need anything here? Yeah, a companion egg that I can modify. I don't know how to modify it in a way that would be appealing to me. But we're going to go modify it. Do I modify it randomly? And mainly, I'm concerned about color options. An egg. That we will use dye injector. I will use sulfurin. I wonder what that does. Don't know. And I will use... Eline livers. I want the same anatomy. I don't care about the right, begin. Modified. Is that enough? Vomba vomba. Increased weight and height. Unstable coloring. Very large and gentle. Ready to hatch. Do we hatch it or do we color it even more? Make it even bigger. With I've got no more livers. Heart ice. Heart ice? Hundred percent increasing. I want it bigger. Gin. I can't quite remember how much this stacks, but I think I need to keep doing it until it stops letting me do it. For it to get to its maximum size. Which is what we're going for. With our baby. Okay, is this something that's not as expensive as the Arfinium? No, that's decreasing. Um, launch fuel. Increasing with launch... It uses 12? No, don't use launch fuel. Rusted metal. No. Um, don't they have that much stuff on me? Yeah, it is flesh. Definitely not. Okay, hot ice it is. Whatever, we're using the hot ice. 
Maximum size, this bad boy. And again. I think it's it used to be up to five times. I don't know if that's still the case. I don't know if they've ever changed this since they first brought it out. Still let me increase it. From the wiki, they can now obtain gold guild missions from guild envoys representing the mercenary guilds. Apprentice 8. Are you saying that my, my level is not high enough? Is that what you're saying? I wonder how that works then, because... Does that mean they don't show up in the space stations until you find... Near the right level? That's very strange. My have hot ice. I might have hot ice. Oh, no. Selfing also, but it doesn't do enough dose. Crap. I think we're done. That'll have to do. Right. I don't think I've got any savage data. No, I've got four. Four's not very much. Don't really have any nanites. Right, let's leave one more time and try and find one more freighter. Then at least I can say I've had a look today for the freighter. Slightly suspicious that it was another C class. Don't think it's always a C class. I think it is randomized. But it's always awkward when, like, it's only ever been C. Question is, can I find another one? Or is there one here? Currently, there is not. So there's pulse. Once you're at apprentice level. How bizarre. So then that means that. Is that freighters coming in? What is that spark going on? What was that? Like, what the hell? Okay, I'm not seeing any freighters. I don't know whether to just constantly pulse in a straight line, but then how will I ever know? Will wait for a random event to happen? And then come out of pulse? We need to really focus on grinding up some nanites and getting some tech for my ship so that I can actually use it. Okay, I'm not seeing any freighters. Nothing is spawning in. Try another direction. Need to do some fight missions. Do I actually need to do the missions, or can I just fight pirates randomly? Aren't afraid to supposed to spawn in once you pop out of pulse? If I wasn't looking for them, they'd be all over the place. But I am looking for them. Fly towards the sun. Possibly go wrong. Jumping systems into three-star economy will get you better freighters. Yeah, I know, but it's not about better freighters. It's about the fact that this one's a black and gold freighter. That's the reason I'm interested in it. There's three ships there. I wonder where they're going. Am I under attack? I'm under attack! What the hell? Wait, am I under attack by friendlies? Did I shoot someone? Oh, shoot! Wait, what? I'm under attack by friendlies! 
I'm under attack by friend. Wait, am I under attack by friendlies? What's happened? When I was shooting asteroids, did I accidentally shoot a ship? Um. Oh God, I'm under attack by friendlies. I don't want to kill friendlies. Damn it! <laughs> I'm escaping. I must have shot them by mistake. Oops. Who knew? Platinum? We got the platinum. I actually need to top up on the pyrite. We're like out of pyrite. Where is my pyrite? I'm actually out of pyrite. Oh no. Try again. I want to find one more freighter before I leave this system. Like. You expect to get apprentice rank. You're, you're better picking up Merc fight missions at stations. Oh, we'll work it out eventually. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Come on. Is there still no freighter anywhere? No freighter. Alright, let's fly towards a planet. Looks like the freighters are coming in less than they usually do. I used to always find freighters and frigates. Maybe the system just doesn't have a high spawn rate or something. Used to farm frigate fleets all the time. Friendlies, apparently. You're not coming for me again, are you? Look at him. Yeah, no. I didn't mean to shoot you. Ooh. Okay. Not seeing any damn freighters. Nope. Nothing here. You know what we've also not had, which is a bit strange? What the hell is this? And why am I being scammed by pirates as well? Am I under attack? Am I under attack? Am I under attack by multiples? Wait, what the actual? What is this event? How many are there? Was it at least four? Mm. Got to take it. Take it out my shields. You gonna go? That was the wrong button. Oh, don't have rockets. Oh my god, he's strong. Oh god, I got the wrong hotkey. Oh, damn it, now I'm gonna lose him. Oh, this is not good. This is definitely not good. This is definitely, definitely, definitely not good. I can't tell which ship's which. How much sodium do I have? Do I have enough to be doing this? I need better weapons. Okay, I need to recognize which ship's which. That's a shuttle. Go on, buddy boy. I do no damage. Perhaps I'm not hitting him. God, I literally cannot get his shield down. I got his shield down, but he's not dead. He's smoking. He's almost dead. The shield's going back up. Oh no! Please! I killed one! God, this is not easy. Oh, wrong one. Come back, better guy. Oh no, no you don't. I do have sodium nitrate. This is not good. God, he takes down half my shield. In no time. You're almost dead, so you've got to go down first. 
Oh god, they're doing too much damage. They're doing too much damage. I don't trust this. They're like, they're actually really strong. It would really help if I did more... More damage. They just, their lasers just melt me. Are we escaping this? This seems like I've been too much. Doesn't help for them. Oh. There's just too many of them. Come on, come on. Would really help if I could lock onto the one guy and not keep. Stab it, stab it. I just can't stay locked on. They're not the easiest fight in the world, is it? Let's be honest. Come on, come on, get your shields down, you bastard. I don't have enough. Like, I can't even shoot it for very long. My weapon sucks. <laughs> well, there goes my sodium nitrate. I should really have focused on one that was already down. I need to get out of here. This is a sad story. Surely I can get one of you. Come on! I can't get his shields down even. Come on! Ah, oh, you dead! You totally dead! This one has to go. These fights are intense right now. Please, he's smoking. They're both smoking. I just can't finish the bastard. God, they're melting the shields. Yeah, man. You know you want to get the shield down, please. I literally cannot get the shields down. Oh, wrong weapon. <laughs> this is insane. This is not the easiest fight. <laughs> No, I'm not chatting on chat. Whoever's complaining at me. Diana, are you complaining? She probably isn't complaining. I'm literally not looking at chat. Definitely not looking at chat right now. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> Heartless space fights. Just what we want to do. They charge their shields faster than I can take them down. Try to stay locked on to the bugger. Okay, I have like no upgrades. God, surely I can win this fight. There's only two of them, isn't there? Can't bloody find them. Where is he? You know, I should also put my shields on a hotkey. Probably. Please? It's the clues. Oh god, I cannot keep on him. Please! God, they're melting me. One of them's overpowered. This guy. I think this guy's overpowered. Oh, god. I swear he's doing more damage to me than I'm doing to him. I've lost him. The shields will be fully charged again. Do you realize how much sodium nitrate I've used? Can't kill the bastards. Tell me if I can actually hit them. Do you worry about losing the shields? Ooh, 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 this guy. Leave me alone. Come on, come on, surely. I just cannot. For the life of me, get his shields down. 
<laughs> tell you what, it makes the it makes the battles way more intense. That's what it does. This ship needs some upgrades. Love this ship, but it needs some upgrades. Smoking and everything. I just need to get one more rocket off. I literally cannot get his shields down. Wait, I'm actually going to have to retreat. Like, I'm running out of sodium. This is depressing. I've only got... Yeah, God, I don't have enough... I don't have enough left. I might run out. Oh, I'm going to have to go between legs. Tail between my legs. I think we're going... There's too many of them. I don't have enough. We what? Oh, God. I'm... Total disaster. Total utter disaster. I'm so screwed. I think we're going to die. I can't actually summon the Nexus. <laughs> we what? My magic mystery escape is not available. Oh, no. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Can I walk? I can't walk. I'm actually scared now. I, I don't know what to do. Wait, please let me warp. Mm. This is not good. I've got like no sodium left. By no sodium, I've got a little trickle, but I can't summon things. What oh, can? Oh, thank God. <laughs> We're running away. <laughs> this is terrible. Man, those was those were scary pirates. Damn it. Going with my tail between my legs. I spent all my sodium. That w no wonder I couldn't do any damage. My rocket was broken. Bloody rockets are broken. No wonder I couldn't kill the bastards. Well, that's not very good. I got a hip hypnotic eye out of all of that. <laughs> God, that was terrible. Okay, I need to go buy some upgrades. <laughs> Why was I even trying to fight? This is the problem. Your tech gets damaged mid-fight. How are you supposed to fight when you've got no tech? We're going home. What a stressful fight. Absolutely. God, I actually got scared there. Look. At the end, when I couldn't summon the Nexus because of... Planetary interference. I mean, I thought I had enough sodium nitrate, but it uses so much to charge the shields, and like, it only takes two of them to attack me at the same time. And my shields go down to zero. It's a harsh reality. Fighting advanced parrots. Right. I should be able to sell, repair my ship here because I should have access to copper. Damn! Damn his rocket. Yeah, we definitely need to go shopping. I'm going to have to grind up some nanites and go buy some bloody upgrades right let me sort out some of this stuff I want to hatch him but then I don't have a slot at the moment either right so let's make some enriched carbon with you and let's make some condensate with you and let's make some nitrogen salt with you let's put you into deep storage I don't think I've got all the stuff we need to make another thing yet. I think I'm putting stuff in the wrong storage, which is a bit annoying. Ingredient in storage. Ingredient in storage. This should be my starship. This needs sorting. 
This I need. This should be processed. This should be charged up. These we want to somehow get rid of eventually. Right. Let's have a think. We didn't I have some upgrades? Maybe I just had an upgrade for my Liz Javelin when I get a weapon. I don't have a weapon. Okay, never mind. Right, anything else to sort out whilst I'm here? I think I might have put stuff in the wrong box. Did. That's everything for now, isn't it? We're not doing brilliant on my reserves. I have to say. Right, so how is this looking? What am I missing here? Got some iridescite. Got one cryogenic chamber. So what I need is quantum processor. So what I need for that is circuit board. What I need for that is polyfiber. So I'm out of plants and I'm out of gases. Wish I could craft directly in here. Superconductor becomes a superconductor become. Where the hell is superconductor? I'm lost. It's not this. It's not the cry of bumps. Quantum processor. Superconductor becomes quantum processor. So I need circuit boards. And circuit boards are heat capacitors and polyfibers, which is frost crystal, selenium, cactus, and star bulb. I have lots of these. I've got seven of these. got seven heat capacitors. So what I need is seven polyfibers. Seven polyfibers. Polyfibers. A cactus and star bulb. Which I think we probably don't have, or if I do have, I only have a trickle. Cactus and star bulb. Give me one. So I don't have enough cactus, is what I don't have. I can make polyfiber and more polyfiber. Now we're out of cactus. Which probably means I can make one quantum compressor, which means I can make one stasis device, possibly. So this plus this plus this plus this should make circuit board. Where's the circuit board? Circuit board in quantum processor. Add stasis device. 15 million units. Boom. 
Ooh yeah. Okay, we have a bit more money. Go away, go away. So basically, I need a load of star bulb and a load more cactus. So we could do with finding some planets. Some lush planets and some cactus planets. So I can farm up and convert all of these and these. Ah, but now I don't have the crowd chambers. Now I don't have the crowd chambers. Which needs living glass and cryo pumps. Now we've got the hot ice, we don't have the thermic condensate. And we don't have the lubricant. We're missing lubricant. We're missing lubrication. Okay, so we're missing quite a lot of stuff. So I need a load of gamma, I need a load of star bulb, I need a load of cactus, and I need a load of sulfuring gas. And then I would have a lot more money. Like quite a bit. So we'll try and find that when we're out and about. Right, I think it's time to get going. One of the daily jobs we've not done is go visit the settlement. So let's have a quick trip to the settlement. Sort that out for the day, which means we'll have to look for the underground creature. Because that's what we do every time we visit the settlement. Until we find the damn thing. It just never seems to happen. And then I think we're going to just go out into the unknown, search for star bulb planets and cactus planets, and gamma planets, whilst simultaneously checking space stations for radon, sulfur, nitrogen gas, amongst other things, whilst simultaneously avoiding this damn sentinel fight. Oh god, I'm out of sodium completely. I need to replenish sodium, is what I need to do. We need to do that once we leave here. I need to find a water planet and go farm up some crystal sulfide to refine into sodium nitrate. Okay, I've lost the room which has got the damn... Okay, this is not good. Under attack. And I can't remember where my building is. Where is my building? This isn't my building. Hello. Lost. Slightly lost. Nice factory. How does one get rid of these damn sentinels? Like... Why are they here every time we visit the settlement? They're slightly broken. Wait, there's a building that needs building. I wonder how long this has been here and I didn't notice. Possibly a long time. I'm probably having a message to tell me to go fix it that I don't know about. Pure fair, right? I can do that. How long do you take? 20 minutes only. Interesting. Building with the silos on the side. Anybody see any silos? Is it this one? It's this one, isn't it? Right. Say hello, my visitor, eh? I'll accept a gift. What was the gift? Ah, look at this, we got actual stuff. 40 get knip, eh? Can I give that to some gek? Do I get anything for that? Actually producing stuff. I want to see if I can donate the get knip to gex to increase my standing. Or is that only gek relics? Now, we're going to have to go find a kiv for the day. Because we still haven't found a cave creature on this planet, and it's annoying me. I've noticed something, that whenever I come to this damn planet, it seems to be night time. This planet's a nightmare to find caves on. Which is probably why we haven't found a cave creature yet. But if I find one cave a day, 
Eventually, we must surely find it. Do I need selenium? Probably. There's an outpost here. Why, look at this. Okay, I have a look. I don't think I've been here before. Yes, glass. Nope. I could sell the Gecknip, but no, we don't want to do that. Minus 54%? Plus 0.1. I really feel like they should have done it so the surge events let you get bonus prices on things like this. The fact that it's only the trade commodities seems a little bit like Laster to me. Right, I don't suppose you've got a cave next to this damn base, do you? That'd be no. That'd be way too easy. Um. Heal myself, just in case. Need to find a cave. Wait, that was a cave? I found a cave! Now I just need to find a cave creature. Why did it feel like a, a cave creature? No way! I did it! We did it! We found the cave creature that's been missing for like God knows how many episodes. Easiest cave creature of my whole entire life. Why, well, hello, buddy. You have some food. I'm gonna ride you. Damn, son. You don't know how long I've been looking for this fella. Where's my nanites? I need them. 1,500 nanites. Tell you what, you're gonna be damn creature of the planet. I hate you, you're ugly. Mr. Difficult. Creature of the planet of what? Is the old shit. Is the difficult. Damn, son. It wasn't difficult at all. Right, we made it. Now, I can actually summon my ship here. God, that's probably one of the hardest zoologies I've done in a long time. Literally search for this cave creature every day. Gecknip is contraband? What? It's a trade commodity. Why is this contraband? Are you sure? Are you pulling my leg? Why would Gecknip be contraband? Right, there's my ship. Now one slight but pressing problem is my lack of sodium. Before I go anywhere, I don't suppose I've got sodium on my Colossus, do I? Glasses, please. I have pyrite, which I need on my ship. I'm literally out of sodium. Like, this is not good. This is definitely not good. I need to get sodium mined. My ship really sucks. My ship really sucks. Right. Time to warp to a new system. Try and get some ship upgrades. And I need to get some sodium. We are going to go over. Oh God, I literally don't have upgrades for anything. Now, what about Gek? I want to go to a Gek system because I want to see if I can give Gek Nip at a trade post. I'm going to go find a trade post and speak to loads of Gek and gift them Gek Nip and see if I can raise my standing. Or not. If I get scanned, I don't know what I'm going to do. We're going to run away. I don't understand. It says trade commodity. Freighters here. What if they're black and gold? Ah, let's go to space station first. Wait, a black and gold space station? Is this going to be a good one? That's a lot of Gecknip. 
You get ganked up all the time. Wait, if it does max my standing, I can literally max my standing every time we have a gagnip delivery from my settlement. Damn. Then I can get good gag prices. I can bribe the gag. Right, first things first. Do you or do you not have any missions for me? No. 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 Okay. Second things first. Which really means second. Do you have a good shop? Chromatic metal. Bang. Phosphorus bang? I think we're a bit low on phosphorus. Carbon nanotubules. We've got some of those. Selling the... Whatchamacallit? Mine is 24%. Oh, just go away. I, I'm not even interested in you. And the vortex cube, you can have that. I'm going to keep my stasis device until I get a better than 1% price on it. Also, one day I want to maybe try a surge event and see if it ever lets me get a buff on my stasis device. Although it seems like... So are you telling me that if I were to do merchant mercenary missions, then this would change to a mercenary? But only... Does that mean if somebody else visits the system, they see a different guy than what I see? Is that how it works? Oh my, circuit pods. I needed those. And fusion accelerant. I'll take it. Rather expensive, but I can make it into more. Gold. Don't need gold. Warp hypercore. Donate. Right, now what... Can I speak to these Gek and donate them Geknip? Hello Gek, do you want Geknip? Gek, oh forgive, no it's Gek Relics. It's not Geknip. You used to be able to give Geknip, surely. Can I not give Geknip to anyone anymore? Is it give Gek Relic and then I can give Gek Nip? Crap. How do I get Gek Relics? I go to a space station. Okay, we're going to go to a space station on a planet, a trade platform. And we're going to get some Gek Relics. I'm going to gift them and then I'm going to see if after I gift it, can I give Gek Nip? I'm sure you used to be able to give Gek Nip. Ah, procedural Gek. After all of that, guild types at stations are relatively random. But what happens if you come to a space station and I come to the space station? It must mean that we see different guilds. But otherwise, it can't be one time a mercenary, one time not. Right, I want to scan. No, I don't. I want to go to the planet first. And then I want to scan for a trade platform. Right now, I'm seriously critically low on sodium, so I really need to somehow get a button of sodium and sodium nitrate. Is this a toxic world? Radioactive world? We do need some gamma for lubricant. Did I see a crash ship? I did not see a crash ship. Right, let us scan for trade platform. Trade outpost. So it should have found a trade outpost on this planet. So let's just see if we get lucky. And then we're going to go explore that planet. Try and get some gamma. Try and get some lubricant. The problem is the gamma takes so long to farm. That it's actually not that practical. That felt promising. Now it's going to be awkward, because if it does work... I think I just got knocked off course. Did I just get knocked off course? Crap. What did I do? Damn it! I got knocked off course. Sadly unfortunate. Try again. Nice blue sky. Nip nip buds, not get knip. 
Yeah, Nip Nip Bubs are contraband. I don't think Gek Nip is. But Nip Nip says that it's contraband. I am surprised, but it does seem right that the guilds are not fixed. Right, I'm going to buy some Geknip from a ship. We're going to gift the Geknip, and then I'm going to see if I can then give the Gek. No, not Geknip. Gek Relic. We're going to buy a Gek Relic. And then see if I can gift Geknip. You used to be able to get, give Geknip and get, like, triple standing. But they might have changed that mechanic. Hello? I mean, I definitely can't... What about if I ask for this first and then speak to him again? And then now give Geknip? No. Break his language. Yeah, it's the game of units. Still can't do that. Right. Let me get some Gek, Gek Relics. And just test this. See if it works or not. Otherwise, I can't use Gek Nip for anything. Buy Star Bulb, because we need Star Bulb. Don't buy Gek Nips. I will buy 2 million units. One time I'm buying this. I just want to know if it works. Also, how much standing do I currently have so we can see what we actually get if we do get anything? Value customer. I've got a total of 13 and next rank is in 1. If I give the Gek Relic, we should be standing 14. Offering Gek Relic. And what about now? Still get relic. So it looks like only get relic. Did I get two standing? Did I get any standing? Rank 15, next ranking 6. Okay, it looks like I can't use Geknit for standing, which is slightly disappointing, not gonna lie. I thought I could. I'm just going to get rid of all these relics and Looks like we're only getting one standing pair. Is that true? Yeah, I'm getting one. So I could buy loads of Gek relics and get standing, but it just feels like I don't need to do that, really, do I? Now, because I'm curious and I want to know, I'm going to do a little bit of science. And I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to go to No Man's Sky Assessment. Except apparently I've got an ad block update. But that's not what I wanted. I want all items. And I want Geknip. Can I do anything with this? I can use it to create a holographic friend. Okay, so I could build with it. I can use it to make Herbal Crunchy. A Herbal Crunchy is worth 60,000 units as opposed to 20,000 units that's all it does this is all that Geknip does in the whole wide game it's useless why? it used to be used for more stuff I hate it when they've got resources that don't do very much. And this literally doesn't do very much. I can make aggressive creatures, because it's Geknip. I can make herbal crunches, which aren't really worth very much. Or I can build holographic friends. I'm slightly disappointed, not gonna lie. I thought I could at least use it to make standing. Oh well. In which case, just gonna sell them all. 
bastards. So I can sell them for 20,000 or we could turn them into cookies but then I'd have to make sugar dough. And it's, it only triples the value. I mean, I'm not going to do all that work for all this little money. Get that. Smoke it. Get rid of that damn thing. Minus 0.7%. No, this is not a place to sell that crap. Right, let's explore this planet. How much money do we have? 29 million. I'm buying all these crafting items and then I'm not immediately crafting stuff, so I'm getting broke. Let's have a look. What's the damage? Seven creatures. Rare underground. Uncommon underground. Of course it is. Of course it's ground creatures. Underground. Of course it is. Let's have a little fly around. See if there's any cool buildings. Also, if I see a big block of gamut. Underground creatures, eh? That looked like a cave for a split second. Reckon this is my first diplo plan. Oh my! Oh my indeed! Free suit slot, I'll take it. And a cave entrance for my two cave creatures. There's possibilities here. Yes, I'll take it. Uh, another suit slot, thank you very much. Come on, cave creature. Cave creature! Spotted! Surely that's the rare, no? Rare underground. First creature that I found on the planet. Nice. I don't suppose your buddy's here. No? Can I have two in a row? Doesn't look like it, does it? But that's a nice start. Let's have a, another fly around. There seems to be maybe lots of buildings on this planet. It might be useful. There's another building there. Like, there's some really close buildings. Which is a good thing. Does this have a cave as well? Oh my. Tiny cave, but I mean... Don't think I want this ruin. Suppose I take a word. Suppose I take more words. Birds, eh? I've got my egg that I could hatch. Do I have creatures I could delete? Is it time to get rid of Homo? I think I'm more attached to Vomba Vomba. Homo's gotta go. I've got a baby to hatch. Okay, I can't hatch it up here. Summon Burrell? I already know the name. Damn, son! Burrell, you big boy. You don't seem to have changed colour. He looks bigger than Vamba Vamba already. How big are you? Four meters. Damn, son. My my, what a big boy. We, 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 we. There's a creature skin. Crap. Okay, take me for a little ride. How fast are you now that you're big? You any good? Giddy up. It's going down the mountain. It's a bit awkward. Wait, is this a toxic planet? What the hell? I thought it was a radioactive planet. Why did I think it was a radioactive planet? I don't actually know. God, the world's smallest cluster of fungal plants. Can I get on a flat ground and see how fast you can actually go? Is he just not that fast? Or is it just the ground is too... 
Really? I suppose he's not that bad. Well, hello, crab. I actually need to kill some creatures. Are you pissed? I'd be pissed too. I can't fight. Wait, I think my blaze javelin is not charged. I do literally no damage. There's no, not even point in me. Oh, a micro creature. Sorry, but I need to kill creatures. Okay, that creature survived my culling. I just can't hit it. They go invisible. Come on, Burrell. I don't like your name. I don't know that I prefer him over Vomba Vomba, to be honest. Just trying to work out if he's any faster to play out, travel the planet. We're so low on sodium, I'm taking this. Like, literally, living on fumes. Fumes. Are you a creature of the planet? You look very colourful. Damn, son. I like it. Creature of the planet. A furry little colourful god knows what. Cat creature with chunky legs. We got two creatures missing. One is the rare ground and one is an uncommon underground. Good to know. And let's see if we can find some other buildings. Landing pad. Do I know about this? No, this is the trade platform that we just came to, isn't it? In fact, I might want to stop here in some of my ship and go for a bit further afield. Also, whenever I'm on a tree platform, we should shop for plants. Because it's the easiest way I can get plants. Because farming the manually takes bloody forever. I don't suppose you've got some plants, do you? Selenium, I'll take it. Not really what I wanted. Need cactus and star bulb mainly. Apparently. And lots of it. Cactus, I'll take it. Speak to me, dude. Okay, man. Bango mild, fair enough. Take that too. We've already got more fungal mold from that than we've picked up on this planet so far. Oh, the depression. Are you the same guy? Will you also have fungal mold? Or is it randomized? Randomized. Right. Enough shopping. Let's see what buildings we can find. Be nice when we get this ship fully kitted out with some upgrades. A bit more maneuverability, more weapon damage, and better shields would really go down a treat. Because this pirate fights didn't go very well. I mean, I managed to kill a few, but it took bloody forever. And I ran out of sodium. Abandoned building. With a cave. Fine. It, the cave is too nice. Let's have a look at this cave. I might as well get my abandoned building nanites. I almost feel like this isn't work it, worth it. It takes so long to click through these menus. And you get, I don't know. 100 and something nanites. It's not that much, really. Come on. Yes, yes. Right. Come on, cave creature, surely. 
uncommon cave creature. Please. Not very promising when he's not outside. That's the same dude. What the hell? Why is the rare one here again? The rare one's more common. Where's your counterpart, buddy? I like this colorful marrow. I never understand why they can't have size variety. As well as color variety. One of the best mods that I played was a Razor Rods mod many years ago. And one of the things I liked most about it was you come to a planet and you'd have like huge marrows over the place. Or you go to another planet and you have little tiny ones. Or a mixture of them. Or whatever. But just simple stuff like that made things look so different. Try again. So this basically was a planet I didn't really want. I thought it was a radioactive planet. I mean, I guess we need the fungal eventually for acid. But I kind of needed the other stuff. It's not even a good planet for fungal. Look, there's like trickles of fungal. Three of them, four of them, there's like nothing. Those may make me think there's a landing spot when it's not. Everything's popping in so, like... Close to me. It's a bit strange. I'm hoping when Light No Fire comes, it's well better rendered. And that you are more immersed with... Things not popping in all the time. Was that a crash ship? That's a crash ship! With an NPC. Damn it! Why is there an NPC here? I wanted a free ship. Oh well. I'll help him out. Let it get. Friend. A am I really your friend? I will. I'll help. Fine. You'll give me standing, won't you? Can I actually help? Patch it up with pure ferrite. Or I could do a deeper repair with microprocessor. Can I make a microprocessor? Make a polyfiber. Microprocessor. Fine, I'll do a full repair. Just because you're a friend. So I get double the standing rewards, please. You're welcome. Off with you. Okay. Success. Let's get rid of this. Trying to find my buried service datas. Somewhere here. Right. Um, we still didn't have find the cave creature, did we? Was it another ground that we got? So it's just the cave creature we're missing. I'm kind of sad about the Gek Nip. I thought I'd be able to donate it for standing, and that would be kind of cool. Getting standing from a settlement reward, but nope. It's also a bit sad that it's not really used to build anything. Not really used for very much at all. Safe point by itself. How uninspiring. 
So I need the building with a cave, really. To find the common... No, uncommon cave creature. Which is apparently rare. Initially we were seeing lots of buildings on this planet, but uh, there not, didn't seem to be any in this patch. Should I be stopping for the fungal? I feel it's just easier just to slowly buy the fungal over time. I suppose we could build a farm if I was desperate. Not that desperate. land at a random cave? Oh my, frigates, eh? What happens if I shoot a frigate? Probably should not just have done that randomly, should I? <laughs> Sit still by the ship. What? A Where is everything? This planet's barren. Like nothing here. Come on, buddy boy. Give me a building with a cave. Anything. Eh. Well, I suppose I'll take a freighter. We get rewards here, which we can use in our crafting endeavors. And it's kind of something cool to do in Hudless. Perhaps we'll get another body fiber. I really need them. Wait. I miss this one. Guess we'll keep the rusty metal. Turn it into ferret dust. Units! That's the worst possible reward. Not very many units. Let's process the rest of this ferret dust. Come on, give me something better than units. I don't think it gives you very many units. Getting a load of rusted metal. That wasn't units at least. Right, and last box. Don't think there's a cave here. Freighters don't usually have caves, do they? I seem to be full on my suit already. Doesn't bode very well. Probably means it's time to get the classes out and just upload a little bit. we got glasses this can get processed glasses don't quite know why I've got cytophosphate I 
What else can I get rid of? Don't need this much chromatic metal on me. It's a copper can go on Colossus. Dense carbon excess can go on Colossus. Would I? Sodium I kind of want. All this crap I kind of want. That will do for now. What did we get for that? Did, did we get anything good? It looks like I got some damaged machineries actually. And the salvage frigate module. Did I already have a circuit port? Possibly, I think. All of which we can use in our crafting, so that's good. Still no last cave creature though. Let's see if we can find that somewhere. I almost crashed into those damn ships. This planet looks way better at daytime with the blue sky. Way more vibrant. Beginning to get desperate, we might just stop at a cave like this. It's not actually a cave. Um. Maybe I should be stopping at some of these fungal clusters, but like there's like two here. Maybe if I see a big fungal cluster, we should stop. Not big enough. This planet's like got new buildings on it. I really thought there was loads of buildings initially, but it's like nothing. Oh, I'm just well off a ley line. Building, but no cave. Wait, cave terrain? Not even cave terrain, really, is it? Ugh, sucks. A cave that's not a cave is also known as a hole. Very true. The landing pad, eh? Fine, I'll have a look. Is that cave terrain next to me? Possibly? Tiny bit? S class outpost one time. Yeah, we've not found an S class outpost yet. Mennonites. Nav datas. Do I need to buy those? A few of them. Do I have anything to sell? I don't think we do. Everything we're taking him. I'll get rid of this meat. All of this is crafting stuff. Wait, plus 2.5%. It's a pretty good price, actually. Okay, I'll, I'll sell it at plus 2.5%. We're rich again. Now, I don't think this is cave terrain, is it? Not really. Damn it. Let's grab me the knights. And my salvage datas. We're not doing very well with this zoology. It started so well finding that rare, rare cave creature, but then since then I just can't find a cave. Right, let's try another building. Hopefully the next building has a cave. Because this one didn't. I could use my Colossus to scan for a drop pot. Ooh. That's an idea. I actually don't have the Colossus on the hotkey. Because... 
I've got Bomba Bomba on a hotkey instead. That's okay. Scan for a drop pot. And then we'll flatten the space and lock onto the drop pot. Hopefully it's got a cave. And I get a suit slot. Calculated. Do you like my new ship, by the way? It's a pretty cool design, isn't it? We found this design, scrapped it, and built my own custom colour. Must admit, the colour's not as good as I want it to be. Think that locked on? Oh no, not pirates! I definitely can't fight, I don't have sodium. Please don't attack me. Have I just gone back to the landing pad? Or is that a different landing pad? There's a landing pad with a cave. Is this a drop pod? What the hell was that? Well, I take the landing pad. How did I lock? No, it's the same. It took me to the same bloody place. It took me to the same one. I locked onto the landing pad I was just at. I don't know how it does that. Somehow it knows the building you've just been to. This could be anywhere. I feel like that's... Is that the same place or is that a different place? I guess we can find out. Drop pod with a cave, please. It's not even, it's nothing. They not lock on. I'm gonna dig in that terrain. That, mu that must be a cave, isn't it? See that, and then the terrain like. Really? You're not a cave? Are you a cave? Cave! Underground! Discovered by me! Surely with a cave creature inside. If I see the rare cave creature again, I'm going to be slightly miffed, because, like, come on, dude. Hmm. Best of caves, is it? It's all this ground terrain. Nothing bloody here. Terrible cave. An NPC? Do I have nanites? Wait, come on. Where are you? I want blaze javelin. I want infra knife. I want ship shields. Yes! Hello, buddy! Right, I've got 4,000 nanites, which isn't that much. What does he have? Pulse spitter, bulk caster. No. Plasma launcher, no. Starship, star shield. I'll take one. I'll take two. Pulse engine, I'll take it. Hyperdrive, I'll take it. Uh, this stuff I probably won't take for now. Try movement? <sighs> Mountain nanites. Right, now I'll have to do for now. Well, I can sell him stuff too. Right, let's have a look. Except I need my ship. And my ship is over there. Spotted. Like a god gamer. 
Who cares about Hadler's game play? I don't lose my ship. I navigate precisely. That's how you would know the game is trolling you. Is that finding rare cave creatures? The thing is, we've already found the rare cave creature twice. I'm supposed to be killing some of these creatures. My kill creature missions. Might be time to do the sentinel rounds as well, actually. Well, let's see if these upgrades are any good. Probably not. But they're better than nothing. And currently we have nothing. You any good? 23%. It's actually my best shield. It's not the best, but it's better than what I've got. 36%! This is what I'm talking about. Go away, you crappy A-class. I've got 36% shield. We're upgrading. That's a proper upgrade. That's a keeper. Hyperdrive? One time? Any good? Not bad. Definitely not bad. I mean, it's better than what I've got. And it's got warp cell efficiency. Pretty good, actually. Way better than average. Is that all I got? Have I got something else? Wells engine. Come on. One time. One time. 23% boost! Not bad. What does boost do? Actually, what does boost do? Faster pulse engine, no? Also, this is in a slot. Did I put this in a slot? 53% boost! And 20... What? 20% maneuverability? From 2%? What? What? How does that math out? How does it go from 2% to 28%? That's insane. That seems slightly broken. I'll take it. Out of interest, how much would a shield go to? 45%. How much would a bad shield go to? 21%. And a bad, other bad shield? 29%. Interesting. I don't understand how maneuverability can go from 2% to 28%. That's insane. The ship is ridiculously maneuverable. I'll dodge and weave the pirates. Let's get rid of some of this silica powder. Let's process the rest of this rusted damn metal. Right, we still didn't manage to find the cave with the cave creature. Did I do all the upgrades? Looks like it. Launch thrust doesn't need an upgrade. How much does that actually help? You get cheaper fuel, but I'm not exactly running out of fuel. Does it do anything else other than cheaper fuel? Because if it's just cheaper fuel... Does it really matter when I already have enough fuel? We're literally getting free fuel from every space station we visit, more or less. Like, I'm in extreme per resources, extreme permadeath, and I'm literally not struggling for fuel, and I've not even got myself a uranium mine, or even farmed uranium, or even bought any uranium. I'm literally just living off free launch fuel from space stations. Now, I've come to this place. We've actually never used the treasure vendors on this playthrough yet. I found a few treasures, but they've all been keepers. Possibly I sold one early on. I used to, I normally like playing around with this stuff. Trying to get some cool names, but we literally don't have any treasures. Why did I come here? I'll learn a word. Daddy Gek. Teach me a word. Thank you. I'll tell you what, I learned another word. I think I do get some standing if I level up words as well. 
You also teach me what? Already learnt. I pressed. Ah, oh God. Back this language. I actually don't know what this does. I seem to get some rewards sometimes. Some units. I expect they're probably not very much. Probably almost definitely not worth. But, I mean. Fine. And that'll do. It. Whatever. Okay, this didn't turn out very well. There doesn't seem to be a cave here. I'm never going to find this cave creature. I'm a sharp friendly ship again. I'm <laughs> trigger happy. Bloody Rachel must be nearby. It helps when you forget to recharge. Uh, auto recharger, eh? I suppose that does help. The problem, the, the thing that I don't like about it, which is a fairly big thing, is that it, it costs like three slots, doesn't it? If you get three launch thruster upgrade. Another one? Really? But I don't need this building. I need a cave. Or a hold. Okay, fine. I'll try a hold. Tell you what, these caves are mighty non cave like. Is this it? It's a terrible cave. You even call this a cave? Suppose it was a hole. And it's literally a hole. A holy cave. I mean, that was not worth a landing. Mistakes were made. Perhaps this will rectify. Yeah, man. Well, I don't think I can dig. My, my ship's in the way. Damn it! Oh, well. Okay, that definitely wasn't worth... I want my damn cave creature. I want my nanites. Now, I should have a drop pod part marked, isn't it? Because we marked it and then didn't ever find it. So let's see if I can actually find it. Should still be marked. I think there's a... Is it slight minor chance that it marks the drop pod on a different planet? Which would be a bit of a bummer. I mean, surely that is pulling me somewhere. Let's see where. Don't you dare, pirate. Don't you dare, I'm busy here. How is this not anything? It's a cave. Cave creature one time? But I don't understand it. Like, surely I was locked on then. Admin pearls in the cave. Why are these caves so pathetic and tiny? Damn bloody caves, just a terrible cave. I landed for that. Let me try and lock on again. I don't know what's going on with the lock on, because it felt like I was locking on. Then there's like nothing here. Wasting time on this fungal wasteland that we didn't really need. But that's the way I play. I'm very worried about pirates, actually, because I actually can't fight them. I don't have enough sodium. You never wanted to.
I mean, I'm being pulled from all directions. However, it's that's a different one. I don't know what's going on. I must be locked onto something here. I must be. I am. The bloody trade post. But I don't get it. This is what we locked onto first, but surely this should unmark once I land on it, no? Is this the one that you gotta stand underneath it to get rid of the marker? Wait, do I not get rid of the marker when I don't have the HUD turned off? I want some shopping, please. I think I give up with that drop pod. We'll just... I'm not giving up with this cave creature just yet. Uh, I need to find a cave. Starbob, nice. Starbob is what we want most. Starbob is difficult to get and I need it in vast quantities. Starbob, very nice. That's what I'm talking about. What do I need from Starbob? Starbob was supposed to become... Starbob plus something. Starbob becomes... Actually, what does it become? Polyfiber. Is that the one? Polyfiber. Cactus is at home. Or oh, I need to go get some cactus from somewhere. Right, let's try again. I must admit, I'm slightly underwhelmed by the ship fabricator, particularly in the lack of color options. And also the lack of arts, maybe, although that's probably not true. Manufacturing facility with no cave. No cave. This building looks so promising. And then I found a rare cave creature straight away. This planet. Ever since then, it's been a bit of a disaster place. Nothing's going right. Every cave we find is a tiny little crappy thing. And all the buildings that we eventually find don't seem to have caves. And I seem to have a trade post marked on the map, which is stopping me from finding my drop pod that I've marked. Let's try again. Hopefully I've unmarked the trade post. Have I not made the sodium mine yet? I haven't, no. Oh, that reminds me, I'm supposed to be looking for mine spots. I keep forgetting. We've actually not done much mine building since we made the first few. I mean, come on, that has to be locking on. Every time I get close to these planets, I get scanned or something. I swear it knocks me off course. Drop pod one time? How is it nothing? The, uh, this planet is cursed. This planet is li literally cursed. Did we give up? No, surely not. Could try and mark something else instead. Got a building. Please have a cave. There's like no cave here. A little tiny cave, perhaps? There's nothing. No, this isn't cave terrain. This is terrible. Oh, 
another sentinel boundary building that I can add to my sentinel boundary list for when we're doing the sentinel missions. I think I'll take it. I think this is number four. So if I start killing this stuff, will more sentinels appear? And then when I turn them off, I'll get more sentinel kills? Test it. Piss them off. Come up, summon lots of you. When a whole crowd of you. Nope, oh, stop it. Okay, now it's time for people to die. Oh my god, you got a bloody flamethrower. You gotta go. You gotta go. Shut down. There's what we're talking about. Immediately shut down. And does it let me leave this? Can I leave now? Okay. But if I get the multi-tool, I'll get locked in. But I guess... I want to get the multi-tool, because I want to scrap it. Let's have a look. <laughs> I don't want this crap! This isn't even worth. But I'm stuck anyway. No! Damn it. I'm stuck anyway. Okay, so when you interact with the multi-tool section of that, you get stuck in the menu. Wait, apparently I got another pirate transponder. I didn't even know. I might as well let all the messages pass right. Let's just put a base down. I'm going to add this to my sentinel loop. The killing the sentinels. So this, I think, is Sentinel Boundary 4. Four in a loop seems like a good number. God, a zillion messages. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to get my Colossus. No, nope, that was the wrong button. Damn it. Give you a little bit of power. Charge my starship. So I've got all these pirate transponders. Let's put those on the ship, actually. Let's put this on the ship. I've also got savage glass. Which gave me a weapon shot that I don't want. Right. Has it still not finished doing all the messages? This is insane. I think it's finished doing the messages, maybe? Right, let's get that back off. This is annoying me. Right, so we got another sentinel building, which is nice, but we didn't get the cave creature, which is not so nice. Is that a cave? It's not a cave. Is that a cave? There is a divot. It's not even a hole. It's, we're not doing very well. Come on, let's try and find a cave. Most people have given up on this planet by now. But I am not most people. And I insist on doing things despite them being inefficient and one could say wrong. But do it anyway. I'm stubborn like that. Oh, 
Also, I still forgot to look for mines. We should be looking for hotspots. S-class hotspots. Oh, a trade outpost, eh? Shopping. Tell you what, we'll stop at trade outpost for a round of shopping. For our plants that we need for our craftables. We've also got lemon for our craftables. Which reminds me, I want to buy some of those things just to make it easier to craft the things. So if I see a fistful of them, I'll buy them. I'll also take parrot, actually. Right, buy myself some plants. Tiggly star bulb and cactus would be nice. Plants, please. Selenium, I'll take it. I think the only thing that's going really well for us is actually slowly building up our stasis devices and the like. It, like that has actually worked quite well. As a kind of a novel way to make money. On the fly crafting. From all the little bits and bobs that we buy. Never quite done it like this before. It's certainly not the most efficient way to make money. But it's very kind of make money as you go, which I like. We're doing well with the star bulb. Right, nice round of shopping, I'll take it. Hello, Moose Jewel, how you doing? I'm stuck on a planet looking for a cave to find a cave creature. Story of my life. But slowly grinding nanite so that I can get upgrades. And actually, we got a mega upgrade with an X-Class shield module. Pretty impressive. I think 37 might be the max. Is that true? Maybe I'm lying. I can't remember, actually. That's my base. What the hell was that? What was that sound? Oh, do you have a cave? Why do none of the buildings have caves? A butt ton of buildings, like no caves whatsoever. We found the rare cave creature, like I can't give up. We've literally found the hardest creature. Now I just can't find a cave to save my life. I almost died. I didn't really almost die, but I had to withdraw from a pirate fight with my tail between my legs. Now that looks like a cave entrance. I'm going in. We had a very long pirate fight, and I killed a few of them. But they were really strong pirates. And I did so little damage. By the time I was shooting them, I couldn't get the shields down. By the time I could find them again, their shields would be recharged. And they slowly whittled away at my sodium levels. And I basically ran out of sodium. I had to retreat. We didn't die. I almost died. I didn't really almost die. But I thankfully decided to retreat. Well, I still had like about 300 sodium left. And upon trying to retreat, at the realization and level of disaster, I couldn't actually summon the Nexus. Because I was too close to some planet, or I was getting planetary interference. So then I was being shot at with barely any sodium left. And literally, if I didn't manage to get out of that situation, I would have died because I would have run out of sodium. It was squeaky bum time. A little bit of clenched buttocks, actually. But it all worked out in the end. With my tail between my legs. And I'm out of sodium, basically. Basically, I don't want to fight until I've got some upgrades. Because I do no damage. Right, there was a cave, but there was no cave creatures. Such a nice planet. If only there was caves. I 
Annoyingly, I should have a drop pod marked. And I literally can't seem to lock onto it. I'll try one more time. Also, I keep forgetting, and I keep saying it, to check for bloody hot spots. Every time. I don't know why. Why am I struggling so hard to do that? Shh. Did that lock on? Surely that's locking on. Surely. But what is it locking on to? The amount of times we've locked on to something and then we fly down and there doesn't seem to be anything there. Oh no, it's the trade platform again. It's scuppering me from being able to find my drop pod. I don't quite understand why it's still marked, because it's like... I keep landing on it, so why does it stay marked? Yeah, I think I give up with the drop pod. I don't, like, that strategy is not working out for me. I see building. Please have a cave. Please. Pretty please. No bloody caves. A drop pod? I mean, I'll take a free drop pod. Okay, that was a bit disappointing. There's no cave here, which is not brilliant. But I'll take the suit slot. We're beginning, we're slowly maxing out our suit, by the way. Perhaps I should just walk around the planet. Perhaps we take Vomba Vomba. Or do we take Burrell Burrell? Can find me a cave. Find me a hole to fall inside. A hole to fall inside. Literally. Damn, son. Come on. Open up to a proper cave. This is it. Ooh. Come on. Come on, cave creature. You know you want to be here. It's not the great cave. But you never know. Might be surprised. Ooh. Opening up slightly. There's nothing bloody here. There's some bait out. You never know. Okay, maybe not. We tried. Okay, let's try Burrell Burrell, because he's a bit larger. Let's see if he can take us a bit further. God, he's got a big butt. No, I can't work out if he's actually slower. Feels like feels like we're moving slowly. Camera angle's not so good. Can you find me a cave at least? Perhaps you should just stick to the bird. Take the sodium, we're desperate. Let's try the bed instead. Try and fly to a cave. I'm not leaving this planet, whatever. I've, I've got a day off tomorrow. Today I just want to chill. And if it means chilling, looking for a cave on this planet, that is what I'm going to do. A rainbow, how quaint. So much for getting ship upgrades, eh? Farming a planet. 
That gully this bed is slow. This is first person view. That's the wing. Damn it. Whoa. Fly, bird, fly. So. I hate caves like this. I'm not going to that cave. The flat cave. Cinematic views on Hudless Permadeath. Beautiful thing. That's a hole that might be a cave that I'm willing to give a try. I'll chance it. Don't think I like it, but it might lead to something good. Or not. Okay, that was terrible. That was literally the worst possible outcome. Buddy boy. You stack. Necro, Necro. I can't believe we're still stuck on this damn planet. Such a promising start. Come on, cave creature. This is the one, surely. Perhaps if we do a little tactical sit down. I think there's a dead end give. Damn it. This doesn't work if it's dead end. Oh, tiny gives. Nope. Let's try back to wheat hot spots. Why am I not checking for the damn hot spots? I think it's because the hot key is so awkward. No nearby hot spot. Okay, we remember to look at least. Summon dead to me pile of junk. No, 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 no. Definitely not. I need sodium more than a drop pod. That is very true. Landing pad. Come on, please have a cave. S class outpost? If I find an S class outpost, we'll have to use it and farm all the motor tools in the system. Ah, a C class outpost. Brilliant. Erronia me. I'll take ten of them. For my iridescite needs. There wasn't a cave there, was there? Okay, the problem with this planet is there's no damn caves. And the buildings don't have caves. I'm not finding any, like, decent cave. Other than the very first one that we landed at straight away. Are any of these planet sodium ones? I don't know. We're going to find out eventually. Actually, I suppose I should be flying around on the bird. There's another tree platform. A shopping hotspot. Okay, I will, I will stop for shopping. I don't know how I've got cytophosphate. Firstly, is there a hotspot? No nearby hotspot, no nearby hotspot. There's, there's nothing. No bloody hotspots on this planet. There is, however, gecklings who sell me plants. Go on, and cactus now. Cactus and stable, please. Are oh, these bastards? 
Gek who's not into his plant. Come yeah, man, give us a plant. Selenium, I'll take it. Be exotic! Wait, these are really expensive these days, aren't they? 55 million? 55 million for an exotic? Take your gamma route. Damn, son. I don't have enough money. Even if I exchange, I don't have enough money. It's got lots of slots, though. 28, 25. 25, 23. It's got more slots than I've got. Damn, son. It's not my color scheme. It's not a bad design, though. I like this shape. I had a white one like this that I liked. I think that's the first exotic we've sighted. No, I think I saw one more, but that was like a really early game. Cactus flesh. Nice. Did that mean that I can make more polyfiber? One more. Right, actually, I said I think we're going to go with the bird. I missed the bird. Ah, uh, damn bird. We're going to fly with the bird to look for caves, and then at the same time, we're going to simultaneously look for hotspots. A B class, a C class. We're not interested unless it's an S class. And then we're interested and we're building a mine, unless it's a resource we already have. Which is not going to happen very often. I don't know why, but the bird, this bird seems to slow mighty slowly. Sometimes. Sometimes it picks up speed. Another building. Possibly with a cave. Is that a cave? Not so sure. I take my nanites. My service datas. Yeah, man. I actually don't know what to get with my next lot of service datas. We've almost kind of got all the important I main tech. Okay, where is this one? There it is. Don't suppose you're a cave, are you? Still a tiny slither of ground. I didn't just see a gopher, did I? You know the world's worst cave creature? I just saw a gopher. I just saw a gopher! There's a bloody gopher! We got him! Did you see him? Good look at him! Wee, 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 wee. I got the bastard. Look at you, you little shitty bastard. Been looking for you everywhere. These bloody gophers. No wonder we couldn't find this thing. I'm successful. I'm successful in Hudless at finding gophers. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Bloody gopher. Yeah. He's been the bane of my existence on this planet. Didn't want to be found. I wonder if we saw him before and I just never noticed. Yeah. You. Hiding and darting all over the place. I heard him before I saw him. But then I thought I saw something flicker out the corner of my eye. Now he's standing still now. Is that because I fed him? Little, little bastard. Yeah. Damn, sir, you just pooped everywhere. I'm streaming this. Don't you know that people are watching? Have you no shame? Look at his head. 
He's got no shame. There should be more creatures like this. It's kind of a funny creature. Although I wish they were procedurally slightly different. Did I get my nanites yet? Give me my damn nanites. God, that was the hardest 1700 nanites I've worked for in my life. Whose creature the planet? It's the damn gopher, isn't it? Damn gopher. Damn. Gopher. Am I allowed to say damn? Am I going to get banned? Each of the planet. Oh, you bastard. It's harder than the rare. But one last check for hotspot. B class power, C class thing, nothing. Right, no hotspot. Right, let's get the hell out of here. Now. Where's my ship? I don't have my ship here, do I? I think let's go to a new system. Now what am I wanting from the space stations? I don't actually know. Upgrades, I guess. We're still looking for systems that sell gases. Stacking missions, checking for gases. I guess if I see an infrared upgrade, I'll take it. And I guess if I see what else? What else would I take? That's basically, it, isn't it? Wait, what is this? Is this a pirate station? Navigational data received? What? Why? Was that... Correct? Why did I just receive navigational data? That doesn't seem right. This is a regular... Space station... With a merchant's guild. Now we need to work out how to up our mercenary. Actually, how do we up our mercenary? Is it simply just killing? See, so I've got 13 standing. Why am I so low? Do I need higher Viking? Do I need outlaw? Perhaps I should smuggle more stuff. But it's the mercenary guy that I need to sell stuff to. It's like killing sentinels. I've killed billions of them. Horrors eliminated. Oh, damn. Two more missions to do. Pirates kills. Maybe I need to kill more pirates. Farm stuff to convert to sodium here. And in missions, oh. Oh my. Wait, take a photo of a toxic world. Wait, what? How did I do Wait, did it did it not matter? Wait, maybe I can take these missions. I thought that I had to go to a very specific toxic world. Polychromatic zirconium. And repair kits. And an upgrade chat. And service data. Yeah, the frigate module. Who knew? Deliver no, see no, kill stuff, yes. Kill predators, yes. Yeah, I don't know. What's at the shop? Magnet gold for my crafting. I'll take ten of them. I will not take ten of them. Am I really that full? I'm really that full. Well, you've got to go, and you've got to go. I need to go home and offload this crap. I want some magnet gold to take home to put in my crafting box, please. Okay. Come on, give me some gas to take home. Probably don't have room for it now, but I'll take it anyway. Put it on my ship. No gas. Read on gas. Radon gas station. I should probably mark this one down. Received. 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 
semiconductors to take home? Yes. And yes. Right. This system is radon. Radon. It is a beautiful thing. Add to my radon loop. Actually, I think we need to go home and offload. That's a damn fine ship over there. That's my ship. Let's go home and offload and possibly craft new items. Question mark, question mark. I also should check, maybe I've got some sodium in the chest, although I think I'm out. I think we are literally living on fumes of sodium. Yes, we need a sodium mine. Can we get a sodium nitrite mine? Probably not. We'd have to refine it, I guess. But then, I don't need to refine it. I just use actual sodium. Right, home sweet home. Oh. Charge up a little bit whilst we're here. Right, the crafting box. We have some magnet gold. And an amium. And a ronium. And fusion accelerants. And we have a little gases. Is it time to put this stuff in here? It might be actually. Maybe it's better to be in here than in my nutrient processor actually. It's just easier to see what I've got. I wish I could craft in here. Once I'm on a once I'm on a freighter with freighter storage, it'll be so much easier. Probably means I should find my freighter, but hey, who's got time for that? You live there, you live there, you live there. We have antimatter housing. That's everything, isn't it? I tell you what, let's move some of the plants across from here. Let me take everything and we'll try and build as much as we can. This can all stay here. This can stay here. Right. Let's just try and spend all of that. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Right, the main thing I want is polyfiber. And I can only make one. Then I want, oh, we've got a rich carbon, and get those. Then I want, I guess we make heat capacitors. Acid and unstable gel and explosive. And the cactus, I don't want to be that, do I? I guess another heat capacitor and lubricant. That's all I can make. Nope, I can make two of them. Now. Lubricant plus glass equals living glass. Is that right? So I want the polyfiber. I want the heat capacitors. make circuit boards and living glass the circuit boards then become
quantum processes. What does a fusion accelerant become? The hot ice. What does that become? But the hot ice needs thermic condensate, which I don't have anymore. Ah, damn it. Quantum processor. Four of them. Nice. And cryo pump. Which becomes cryogenic chamber. And then that becomes stasis device with iridescite, which we have. I have another stasis device. Beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. One. Right. I think we're stuck again. You go home, you go home, you go home, you go home, you go home. This is the advanced one. I might be able to make a fusion igniter out of this. And this. I think that's a fusion igniter, isn't it? No, I need the portable reactor. How do I need, what do I need for that? Liquid explosive, which we have. Liquid explosive. Portable reactors. We have a few of them. Fusion igniters. We have one of them. But I'll take it. That's what we're here for. Ah, we're making bank. Right, put everything away. You're away, you're away, you're away. You're away, you're away, you're away. You're away. Away, away, away. Away. Away, away. Away. After all of that, we've got these two bad boys. And 30 million units. You're away. So this is advanced and this is advanced. I'm kind of out of iridescite and geodesite. I need to top up on some of these things to make another batch. Aronium magnet gold and grantine. Magnet gold. Aronium. And grand ten. So I'm missing grand ten. Can I make grand ten? Ionized cobalt. Do I have any? Ionized cobalt. Grand ten. And I'm out. Dioxide. Right, I think I'm making a button of iridescent at least. This one and this one. Cam's iridescent. Right, we got a few. Get those stacked. We got ten. We use this, we use this. So this stuff becomes the other one. So I need more Herox. Which is Ionized Cobalt and Ammonia. Do I have any Ammonia? I do, but I'm kind of out of Ionized Cobalt. Ionized Cobalt plus Oxygen equals more Ionized Cobalt? Question mark. Ionized Cobalt plus Oxygen. Equals more Ionized Cobalt, right? I guess we get processing that. This stuff can go back. I'm gonna leave this rusted metal here to cook. Oh, glass.
What did I say? Rest in metal. Let's leave that. Big bloody forever. More glass. Right there, it's cooking. And I can probably... Oh, cabin. Wait, what am I doing? I'm the iron is cobalt. So, iron is cobalt. Plus oxygen makes more. Why well, needs more oxygen? Oxygen. Let's just get a loop of this done and re replenish my endless cobalt. Oxygen, do I have any? A nice cobalt. This is a beautiful thing. Let's just do a round of this and get a, a butt ton. Come on, seriously? These two take forever. Glass. Why have I got semiconductors here? Now, no, no. My refining workshop being put to good use. Cobalt reserves. Oxygen plus. That's all I've got. Beautiful. These are finished, nice. Oh, there's still more left. Yeah, I wish it would continue processing. I don't understand why it has to have such a small max. Oh well. Hopefully that's enough ionized cobalt to last me for a little bit. Wait, there's more. Right, so then I can use the ammonium and make what was it that we needed? actually forgotten. This one, Herox. Right, got a load of Herox. Got some Lemium. Need to make more Lemium, probably. What's le Lemium? What is Lemium? Uranium. Oh no, uranium is probably something I don't have. I do have. Oh. God gamery. This is probably I shouldn't be doing, but whatever. Right. Uranium. I'm out of stuff. Right. Geodesite. There we go. So why can't I make lemium? Go for it. God, I'm out of pure ferrite. 
Disaster. What now I have to do? Right, but that gives me a load of this for next time. Anything else? Right, so now I've got iridescence. I've got these things. So what am I missing? Cryogenic chambers and... Crap, what am I missing? Cryogenic chambers for this and... Portable reactors for that. Wait, don't I have portable reactors? Portable reactors. Plus this, plus this. Equals fusion igniters. I'm rich. I'm literally rich. There's another cool 60 million. I've got up to 100 million. Damn, son. You'd said hard permadeath extreme price rule set was going to make me broke forever. Right, let's tidy up. Put all of this stuff back into storage. This I want on me. This I don't want on me. This I want on me. This I want on me. This I have to have. Actually, this needs to needs to make a few of these. This I don't want. This really I want on my ship. This I want on my ship. This I don't. That I put in ingredient storage by mistake. This can go on my ship. What is on my ship? Oh. Storage. 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 Still have these things to get rid of at some point. Storage. And I'll keep the fuel actually. Right, not bad, not bad. We got these things to sell. This needs to go into storage. These need topping up. We're not doing brilliant with pure ferrite, are we? Do I make more batteries whilst we're here? I can use whatever cobalt is here and turn it into batteries. Should have done that directly, shouldn't they? Oh, still more to go. So let's make a batch of it into regular cobalt and top up on the batteries. Oh, we've done we've done good work. We've we've got a load of money ready to. To make Give some flat dust. Right. Go up the cams batteries. Tap up. We're out, but that will do. Right, I'm satisfied, kind of. So what next? I guess back to exploring, no? Wait, it feels like I've got too much crap here still. Why do I have too much crap? This stuff is for selling. This should be on my ship, really. 
This is too much crap. This stuff should all be together so I know what I've got. Metal plating I don't have. Metal plating I don't have. Beautiful. Perhaps I keep a load of wiring looms here as well. Right. That'll do. What is this thing? Hard frame engine? Don't I need that for a quest at some point? Possibly. Right, I think we're ready. Let's go. In fact, let's go to a system where I can buy gas. I really want sulfur in gas, but... They don't seem to have labelled it. I knew where it was, and now I don't. Radon. Radon. Was this one... Wait, this is my freighter system. Okay, let's go to my freighter system. I think we get nitrogen gas. We'll have one look at trying to find a freighter, and then we'll be traveling onwards. That's a nice chill session, actually. It's slowly grinding away. Nitrogen. That's what I'm talking about. What about this stuff? I feel like I've got too much of this stuff at the moment and I don't have enough of the counter stuff, so I think I'm going to leave it. I need the condensate one. I'm going to... This is my golden black freighter system, so I'm going to have one look. I thought you had a freighter. Nope, don't have a freighter. I didn't, I didn't accept it. I didn't buy it. I didn't get my free one because it got bugged out on me, and now I found a system with a gold and black freighter that I'm interested in. I could buy it, but it's a, so far I've only found a C class. So I'm trying to slowly farm for the S class if we get lucky. I'm not in a rush, to be honest. Like, freighter's a different gameplay loop. And it's kind of nice to play the game without a freighter for a bit, just to experience the struggles of not having a freighter. Extremely That's not what I wanted. Detected. I wanted this. To see if it's spawned in anywhere. But it doesn't look like it is. There is something strange about this system, I have to say. Like, the freighter do doesn't spawn very often. Plants, please. I buy all plants. Oh my god, it's the mother load. Damn, son. That's not bad. Okay, there's two blues. Wait, what? There's blue over here. But there's also square blue. Isn't square blue freighter? It's right next to the... Star station. It's disappeared again. I mean, I'm assuming that one is Nexus, isn't it? But why is Nexus over here? It is Nexus. I just want to see the freighters once. I swear I used to be able to do this, and you could just warp all over this place and they'd warp in and you could just farm frigates for days. Have I just found a bad system for doing it in? Am I just being unlucky? Have they changed the mechanic? Got two bogies. Friendlies, apparently. Don't know why they're red if they're friendly. I wonder if flying closer to planets makes it more likely to spawn freighters, because... 
If I'm not looking for them, they always seem to turn up. Come on, warp in. No? Nothing. What if I were to warp away and warp in then? Would they instant... Ah, there. One appeared. Where is it? Found it. Come on. S-Class, one time. Must have enough money to buy this now, surely. Although technically it might not be true. Although don't ships land on this thing, if I really have to, I can sell my stasis devices. A golden black freighter. Come on, S-Class, one time. Quite a lot of savage data to spend, actually. Yeah, man. I could cheat and have a look now what class it is, but I like to go speak to them, particularly when I'm playing Atlas and it's an immersive journey of. Go on, baddie boy. S class, one time. Now, so far we've done four, and each one has been a C class. You better not be C class again. What is this? Have they changed the mechanic? Is it always C-Class? What is the chances that I get C-Class five times in a row? Am I being scammed here? I'm actually confused. I mean, I suppose C-Class is the most common. So five times in a row is probably not that much, but... Could I not at least see a B-Class by now? Just to reassure me that I'm not... Have they changed it so the freight is always the same class? Surely not. Yeah, do I try for another fleet? Might try for one more fleet. Let's try and warp to this planet and see if they spawn in then. Anywhere? There would be no. Ships next to me. Hmm. I feel like... Five times in a row feels a little bit... I think I'm being scammed by pirates. The other thing I want to try is to warp away and warp back and see if that makes a crater automatically spawn. Because that would be huge. So let's warp away. Maybe visit the space station here. And then warp straight back. Let's see if we get a quick freighter. But maybe that's the way to make them guaranteed spawn. Yellow Lash. Um. But what a Yellow Lash? I did say to you to Lash to get Starbulb, but I mean, we've been buying lots of Starbulb. Don't think so. Oh, we bought these flowers, didn't we? I was wondering where they came from for a second. I can make some nitrogen salt. Right, stakes and missions. Check out the shop. Check out my rewards. Get a suit slot. Nope, nope, nope. Kill a predator, I'll stack it.
I didn't check out the mission vendor, did I? Multi tool. And exactly the same multi tool. But a crappier class. Infra knife, one time. Base beam. Infra knife, one time. I'm taking it no matter what. I finally have a little tiny piece of damage. Give it to me. Now, this is in the bonus slot. If I put that there instead, 14,000. 16,000. 17,000. It's 17,000. Nineteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. I guess I get all in on damage for now. Kind of desperate for damage. Fine. Now, I could just reload and buy all of those, but I don't like to do that, particularly if I'm playing Immersive Headless playthrough. However, I will take my free stuff. And will I buy these again? Seems to be going okay, isn't it? Kind of don't need to at the moment, though. Or whatever. I'm going to do it anyway. Probably means I should sell my other things so I have enough money to buy stuff. Come on, give me a good price. Give it to you. Stays his device. Plus 5.3%. Damn, son. It's the best price I've ever seen. 49 million units. I'm almost at 100 million. Damn, we're rich. We're actually rich. I'll take it. Right, I want to go walk back to the other system and see if that makes me easily find a freighter. So let's have a look. Alien multitude system with my black and gold freighter. What am I going to do if every time I land on it, it's a C class? There's no way. There's just no way. Is this a low economy system? Is this what the problem is? Wait, does a low economy system mean I can't get it as an S class? Actually, I don't know. I know it's a reduced chance, relaxed, developing. But is developing the worst or is developing the mid tier? Crap, is developing the worst? Is that why it's always a C class? No. Am I getting the C class freighter? Are we searching for another black and gold freighter? That's never going to happen, is it? What's the odds you find a black and gold freighter week? There's no freighter here on arrival. Okay, so that didn't work. I can't actually remember. I think... I know it's really difficult to get an S-Class in a low economy. But is it impossible? Where are the damn freighters? Now at the moment they're not even spawning in. You could change freighter's colour, but can you change it to black and gold? I know you can change it. Can you change it to any colour? This one natively spawns as black and gold. 
But am I wasting my time this whole time because I could have always made it black and gold? A three star economy has a two percent chance, a two star economy has a one percent chance, and a one star economy has a zero percent chance! Isn't this a one star economy developing? What does it say on the map? Are you one star? No, you're a two star economy. Two star is one percent chance. But isn't that for the main freighter as opposed from the tiny freighter? Or is it the same? Wait, so are you telling me that farming a freighter color is irrelevant? And I could just color it no matter how I want? Can I make my own? I think, oh god, I can't remember. I know you have to unlock the colors with nanites, and it's expensive. But I guess that means any color combo you find in the wild, you could just craft. In which case, what's the point of farming specific freighters? Is there no point? Am I doing it for absolutely no reason? Wasting my damn time, as usual in this game. So then what the hell am I doing? I feel like my infinite feels a bit better. We did get an upgrade, didn't we? Definitely firing faster. Man, I might be able to take down a pirate now. Got a bit of damage. Perhaps. Get a friendly. No. Wait, so if I'm not going to get this freighter, then what am I doing with my life? Am I just going to wait for my first random freighter that's an S class? And then color it? Right, let's go somewhere new. What do I want, actually? What do we, what do we want? What do we want? What, what am I caring about? I don't care about anything. Pirate system? I don't know where pirate systems are. I don't have a conflict scanner. Conflict scanner used to have an opulent Viking system. Let's go with an opulent. Actually, maybe we stick with opulence. With a maximum chance for an S class freighter. When have I ever needed reasons? Exactly. That's true. Who am I? A quad. A quad leaf space station. Is that lucky? An opulent system with an S class space station, perhaps. Oh. This should probably be my suit, actually. I should this. We still haven't sorted out my sodium problem, really, have we? Actually, the sodium problem is so bad. Can I buy starship batteries? Maybe I should be using those. The problem with the, the, the pirate fights is they take so much sodium. Uh, pirate, eh? I need pirate. Ship fuel. Staggable missions, please. Kill a predator. Stacked. Soon I'm going to take some of these low-level pirate missions, but I, I need a bit more upgrades on my ship. A little bit more upgrades. A little bit more damage. Tell you what, we're not finding many pirate systems. Like even I know I'm just going randomly to places, but you'd think by now I'd find some bloody pirate stations. Cyclotron, Starship Shield, Positron. Do I take one of this crap? Get a shield, which will be better than the A class we've got. You know what? Let's do it. 
try and maximize my survival. 36, 23, 17. Go away. Right. The shields would be better. The weapon still sucks. But it's getting better. Do we have another gas station? <gasps> Mercenary vendor! Mercenary vendor for the very first time! Wait, can I give him stuff? Pirate transponder. Turn it over to the envoy of the mercenary guild to collect associated bounties. How does this work? Can I have associated bounty, please? Oh! Resupply is crystallized heart. Ammunition. I can donate crystallized heart. Pirate transponder from the starship. Wait, so I can donate it for one standing. Is that all it means? Turn it over to collect any associated bounties. That sounds better than getting one standing. But is that what it means? Really? Is that all it is? Donating crap? Okay. Fine. Slightly disappointed. I thought I'd get something cool. I didn't realize it was just donating crap. Interestingly, quad servers donated. And hard frame engines. And walker prints. So basically, the stuff you kill from sentinels maxes your mercenary guild sentient. Which we get on some of our sent and savage glass. Rank as associate. Now we get a photo cannon module for discount. Why would I do that? I feel like I want another page of this stuff once we get really good. But I mean, exalted. Hmm. So I guess we use the, the transponders to max our mercenaries standing. So why did I randomly find a mercenary now? Did I just suddenly kill enough ships or something? Where's my... 7 out of 10. I wonder what made it all of a sudden that I found this place. Because I've been looking for one of these for ages. In fact, I'm going to name it down in case I can't don't find another one. Okay, so why can I not name this? Because it's discovered by Big South. <laughs> no, I've been screwed. Can't name it. Big South made this system uninhabitable. S class. Class. S class. B class. Okay, perhaps we're leaving here. You suspect the guild's a regional? How big's a region? How does that work? A freighter? Are you the landable one? So what am I looking for in a freighter then, if it's not the colour? Just what it looks like. Black and gold. Black and gold and red. Apparently. I mean. I suppose I take it. Maybe it was this appropriate class. Surely 97 million's enough. Because this is another small one. Okay. 
came out, dude. Why am I walking up the stairs like a pleb? Do you guys remember that when they didn't used to be teleports? Well, hello, sir. Give me a good price. B class. 22 million for B class. Oh, damn. Will I have enough for an S class? That's quite expensive. What would make me farm for a freighter then if it's not the color? The appearance? Have they added any freighter designs? I feel like there's not that much difference in the. Need a walk beam for the complex scanner. This is true. Let's try a different system. Do we go for more opulence? It's kind of difficult to find opulence. I don't have the best of. Black market? A dissonant black market. Wait, dissonant black market is good. Why is it good? Because I can kill dudes for free. Kill dudes for free, and I can get. What do we call it for free? The scanner things. What are they called? An earth and lash for the first time in this playthrough. Well, we're going to that planet, that's for sure. Might be time to build a proper base. I think this is my only second pirate system of the playthrough. Or maybe my third. But we've not been to many pirate systems at all. Come on, one time. Give me in infra knife at the X market module. I don't have many nanites, but... So I guess we save pirate transponders to hand in for standing. Which feels a bit like Laster when it says hand donate for bounty. Like standing isn't bounty. Come on, one time. One time, infra knife. It's the most thing I care about right now. Place javelin upgrade. I mean I'm gonna get that if I don't have an infra knife. Can't use a blaze gem yet because we still didn't get a multi tool, but bang it. For future use. Well, hello, sir. What do you have? Illegal goods. Wait, smuggling? We want to smuggle because it improves some standing of some sort. So let's smuggle. Nip nip. Relics. I'm gonna go smuggle, but taking stuff home. So I might go home and then come back. Also these missions. Now is there anything I can do with these missions in Hudless? I don't even know what these raid capital ships are to be honest. And I certainly don't know how to do it with my current ship. Seeds good from traders. These rewards aren't particularly... The only thing about doing this is it progresses outlaw standing, which I've never actually done because it's a new thing that they added before I kind of maxed all my standings. Wait, how do I see that? Outlaws. See, I don't have any of this. I mean, I can do smuggling. Raiders plundered. Do I even want to do this stuff? It forces you to become a pirate if you want to do this stuff. I'll think about it. I'm not convinced. We're getting close to mixing our suit out. Do you do anything different? Are you just the same old dude? What that's for eight million. Dainted metal zero. Why is this not unlocked when I've unlocked it on previous playthroughs? I thought it was supposed to be shared. But 
Right, let me go nip home and sell this crap. And then we'll come back and go check out that earth and gorgeous lush planet. Because that looks special. At least from space. Pirate systems have the best S-class chance of your gold. Is that true? I didn't know that. Right. One comes home to sell one smuggled goods. Mainly to progress smuggling missions. Contraband. 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 This is a beautiful thing. And whilst we're at home, we deposit all the goods that we don't want with us. Like this. And this. And this. And this. And this. I keep forgetting to sell these. I need to do that. This is excess. This is excess. This I guess I keep with me. This is excess. This I keep with me. This needs to go to storage. This is a bit strange right now. Oh, I've got too many of these things. Excess. Blaze Javelin module. Got a box with loose javelin stuff for once I get a better multi tool. I could buy that alien one. I'm, I'm kind of waiting to see if I find another one. And right, let's go. Wait, is there anything on the ship? I kind of want to use this up. Oh, it's unstable plasma. I thought it was warp cell. Right, let's go check out this beautiful looking earthen lash. Probably is going to have extreme sentinels, knowing my luck. A heartless exploring of an earthen lash. Beautiful earthen greens and blue water. Let's go have a look. There's my ship. No, it's storming! Damn it, stop storming, I want to have a look. It looks so good from space. I need to stay here till it stops storming. I need to have I need to have the the view. Perhaps we go to this moon first of all. Is it gonna be double extreme? That already means it's extreme, doesn't it? I suppose it could be just a casual storm. Did you stop? Bastards. Bye! a solar ship. It wasn't this a dissonant system as well? Wait, what if it's a dissonant lash? Then it might like, look very cool actually. I'm gonna go to the moon. I usually like doing moons. Number one, they seem to have denser buildings. Number two, my favorite planets of all time were water moons. Back in the day. I can't believe they got rid of water moons. I swear it was a glitch when they reset the universe but then they couldn't undo it because they'd already done it because why would they get rid of water moves it just doesn't make sense now the good thing about this moon is it seems it doesn't storm there looks radioactive or lush radioactive or a lash. It's a yellow lash. With no storms. 
Oh my. It's very yellow indeed. Now we need it, Star Bob. We what? It's a nest planet. Are you kidding me? I don't generally like nest planets, I have to say. Kind of here now. So I guess we explore it. Hmm. Building with a cave, I'll take it. Just in case. And immediately we get a standworm. Jumping away. Right. Let's have a look. What's the damage? Six creatures. No undergrounds. For the very first time. Grand, 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 flying. Okay. Grand. You know what we've not found this playthrough, which is kind of amazing, actually. We've not found our first Diplo yet. Can't believe it. Whoa. An unusual wump with mushrooms on his back. They're fairly rare. Creature of the planet? Probably. Possibly. There's the bird. Ooh, hot spots. I need to look for hot spots. The hotkeys are so awful. C class, C class. Forget it. Don't care about C class. We don't care about C class. Stop it. I've already got him. This shouldn't be a terrible zoology. Yeah, I don't know. I never got on with these. I do like this guy, actually. Look at these mushrooms on his back. I'll take a picture. Well, hello, sir. Creature of the planet. Probably. Beautiful. There's a different sex. Different sex of the same one. Ooh, a doggo. A predator. Probably had to kill some predators. God, the, the Sentinel's pissed. Don't worry, Sentinel. I'm only trying to kill a predator. But the plants are in the way. How did that not hit him? There's no way that's missing. God. Headless bloody blaze javelin. I can't aim. Come on. Really? God, I suck with this blaze jelly. I missed the game. I'm really not good shooting. I used, I did get good at it at one point. I'm not actually sure what I'm doing wrong. I think I'm supposed to be aiming in the middle of the screen. Two creatures missing. Two rare grounds. Infested nest nest planet. He's got quite a smile, isn't he? Look at all these mushroom guys. Pretty cool. Ooh. First person. Maybe it's easier to hit them first person. What did I hit then? Damn, son. I hope I've got some cold creature missions stacked. I might have already done them. 
But I might not have activated them. Have I added missions and then I think oh you bastards. I think I've added missions and they're not turn the HUD on. I bet they're not active. Right, get a million messages. It's, it's one of the problems with HUDless is the missions don't stack. Unless you turn the HUD bloody on. And they don't complete properly either. Look, some of them are killing, completing right now. Load of them are completing. Did any add? Maybe they just all completed. Ooh, you're new. But you're not new. Just different sex. I think it's finished. Right. I found you. I spotted you. Quite an impressive spot. I did it again. Damn, son, that's a zoology complete, isn't it? 1500 nanites. Creature of the planet is the wump. No, it's the wrong sex. I hate this. They need a button here that lets you switch between sexes. Because this sex sucks. Bad sex. I'm not going to be able to write this, but I'm going to try. Bad sex. To the planet. Wait, it let me. I thought they sometimes stop you from writing certain words. Apparently, that's okay to write. Bad sex. Right, let's see if we can get. Oh, I need to get rid of this damn ship. Let's see if we can get to that earthen, lush looking planet. Although, I'm slightly disappointed it seems to be extreme storms. And there's a sandworm. Come on. Right. Nest moon for the very first time. What is happening with those planets? Why do they look red? Traitor. I suppose we should look. I a Starship Enterprise. Black and gold. It's blue and yellow. Apparently I can make it black and gold. I had a Starship Enterprise freighter not so long ago on one of my playthroughs. Did really like it, but I feel I should have something different. But what if this is the S-Class? Then we we'll probably get it. Though, there is a world where I can't even afford it. Come on, Captain. Captain, my Captain. How much? A C class. 19 million. God, you. I've like been scammed. Not accepting a C class. Good. I'm lost. Do you sell plants? So close yet so far. Never mind. Right. What a planet. I'm afraid to again. Do I? Do I? Where's the one that you actually land on? I shot it. We what? Wait, don't they get mad at you now when you shoot them? Did I just not break his shields? Wait, have they put shields on them so that you didn't accidentally shoot them? And only if you sustain shoot them that you get in trouble? Maybe? Hello, buddy.
C class, even worse. God. Rather disappointing. Feels a bit weird that you don't farm the freighter for their colours. I used to do that all the time. Looking for really cool colours. Don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. It's a bit like that with the ships, now that you can colour them. You literally just get your... favourite parts and then just colour it yourself. I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. There's something magical about finding the perfect ship. Or the perfect freighter. Right, looks pretty nice right now, doesn't it? Let's see what it looks like. Unfortunately, it will extreme storm at some point. Hopefully that's just a temporary extreme storm. Got a purple sky, which isn't my favourite, but it's not the worst, and sometimes does look nice on lush planets. Seriously, right in front of me. Okay, so wire freight is coming all the time now. Like when I was trying to farm one, it literally wouldn't land. Now every time I move, it's a bloody freighter. Do I even want this one? Probably not. What are the odds? Tell you what, I'll, I'll use my hat this time. I just learned to use my hat. Why should be in S class now? Am I even going to buy it? If it's in S class, probably, isn't it? C class, you little shit. Wasting my time. Right, time to check out my first earthen lush of this playthrough. Diplo planet for sure. Diplos on an earthen lush for the very first time. Green on green with autumn leaves. Oh my. And purple sky doesn't look bad actually. Doesn't look bad at all. Please, no proto rollers. Please, pretty, please, pretty, 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 please, no proto rollers. Please, wondrous creature, one time. S class multi tool. Do I need uranium? I see some metal fingers up above. I might go get that. I think we're quite low on uranium, actually. S class multi tool for the very first time. Come on, come on. Okay, there's a load of crap. Repair kits? Oh, I'm in a black market system. Interesting. I don't think I really need this stuff. Do I have anything to sell? More day. So why is there bad demand for living glass here? Why particularly is it mentioning living glass? Don't understand. That must mean... No! Proto rollers! Are you the one-off? A one-off proto roller when it's not actually a proto roller planet one time? Ten creatures. For a predator roller, at least it's not that bad. But... Ugh. Why? Feeling mighty disappointed, predator rollers. Why is it that earthen planets, they either got extreme sentinels, or they've got damn predator rollers. Can't ever find them perfect, can you?
Highland creatures equals proto rollers. <coughs> what do you mean by highland creatures? What is he doing? Look at that idiot. Can I hear a cave creature? Am I just hearing the plant explode? No. Another protoroller. Damn. Definitely protoroller planet confirmed. Not even a chance for it to be not. <laughs> Damn you game. Another damn blob. Do I even want to be here? I almost feel like I shouldn't... Stay on Proto Roller Planets. I suppose I should look for a hotspot. A, C, nothing. Do we give up with Proto Rollers? Are we so disgusted? I suppose I could go murder some. Geld. Geld. Guard. I mean, I don't actually want the god. I think I just want the uranium. I might give up on this planet, actually. Proto rollers disgust me, sir. But before I give up on this planet, there's something I need to go murder. Wait, there's a bubble proto roller. Proto roller of the planet. My god, he's ugly. Look at those eyeballs inside. Yeah. My <laughs> please, you haven't can't even kill them. They're immune. How are you not dead? What is this bullshit? I mean, I know my blaze javelin is really weak. He's like 20 shots. And he takes two shots. I don't get it. Screw the nanites. This place is cursed. Could have been so beautiful as well. Don't quite like the tree killers either. And there's something about this green on this kind of murky yellow green that just isn't the one. Such potential wasted with crap creatures. I'm out of here. If the land creatures exceed five, probability the proto is guaranteed. No, that's not true. You can have eight creature ground creature planets that don't have proto rollers or isn't proto rollers. Right, where are we going? Where are we going indeed? Give me some options. Wealthy. Take it. We do a wealthy gek system. Where's my first white lash? Where's my first diplo planet? Oh my, an actual freighter battle. Do I want to do this? Where is the freighter? Can I have a look at it? Is it one of these ones? I don't even like these ones. No, forget it. Don't like it. Not gonna bother. Toxic protection. Where the hell? Are, oh, I must have got that from the the vendor. No, the damaged machinery. Reminds me, I need to sell a load of these things. Another merchant system. Oh, we can hand in a load of missions. That's true.
Enrich carbon five. Nice, we can use that. Kill sentinels. Stacked. One day we're going to go to visit all my sentinel bases and complete that instantly. But the day's not that day. Right, do I have anything to sell? This crap. I'm just going to get rid of it. I don't care. I don't understand why it's showing geodesite in living glass. There must be a reason for that that I'm not quite grasping. Check the freighter is S class. You can use it to buy the one you want. I suppose that's true, actually, isn't it? Although I think we've messed up now because I had to do that before I chatted to anything, didn't I? Let's do this. You know what? Let's just. We're doing this crafting stuff. It seems to be working out. Yeah, they've gone already. Damn it. Uh, you know what? Another system. What am I looking for? Black market? Why black market? X class modules. Fine. Buy myself an X class module if we get an infra knife or a blaze javelin. Possibly a hyperdrive. Treat myself. Pulse engine perhaps. Brown lash. I might be tempted actually. Almost, not quite. Well, that reminds me, we've got quite a few service datas to go sort out. Wait, you scrapped me out of the ship as well. Keep forgetting to do that. The starter ship, time to go. It's not bad. Scanner, infra knife, please. Scanner. We still didn't get any scanner upgrades, and I kind of like it because I kind of like that I'm making money. I always get scanners. I always make money with scanners. Blaze javelin. Pulse engine. Pulse engine. Kind of out of nanites. Not the best, but it's usable. Do I do a round of smuggling? Is there any reason not to? It just progresses the missions for smuggling, doesn't it? And what about these things? I feel like I should be getting these, actually. Let's get a tech slot. I guess let's go smuggle those stuff. Get my second ship, customizable one. We could progress that explorer we're trying to work towards. Let's just go offload the smuggling stuff and any loot. I 
it's going quite well. We're, we're plodding along slowly but surely. The New Man's Sky Way. No big wins though. No big discoveries. Still didn't get my freighter. Still didn't get my multi tool. Do have a load more money though. Band is dealt with. And all this stuff can go to storage. And I keep forgetting to get rid of these damn modules. I need to do that. Head back. I think I'll go and visit that brown lush. See if it's a better planet. Hopefully, no proto rollers. Let me just sell all my modules as well because for some reason I keep carrying them around. I need to do better at searching for these hotspots because it's been ages since we found an S class hotspot actually. Not looking often enough, I keep forgetting. A load more nanites. Did this refresh? I didn't realize it refreshed just on teleporting. Okay. Twenty five per cent boost. Pretty maneuverable. Five seems all the same. Eight five nine, eight eight one. Eight eight one. Okay, right, let's go land on the brown lash. Have a look. My, those planets are bright. Triple Sun System. Brand, am I being held? Brown Lash with Brown Sun, Brown Sky. Brown and Green Lash, Earthen Brown. With nice looking trees. Nice looking trees. Very nice looking trees. Maybe a blue sky would be better. The ship's almost crashing into me. Blue water. I do like this bushy tree. There's quite a lot of tree variety here. It's 
been a while since we've done a water planet, actually. Have a quick look in the water. What's the damage going to be? Oh no, Sentinels. I see gravity no balls. Oh well. I do have underwater protection now. Beavers. Beavers spotted. Beavers with the ugliest face you'll ever see. Damn, son. That's an ugly face. Can I charge this? Needs oxygen. Noted. Now I want to get some stuff to make sodium nitrite. Because that's useful. These things. Crystal sulfide. What's the damage on this planet? Only seven creatures? Really? Just birds and fish. There's also a rare underwater. I'm not going to find that in a little lake. I think there is a chance. It very rarely happens. We've got double S-class underwater protection. we can swim for days. Wait, so there's no ground creatures. And now it's storming. I'm not doing very well with these... Eagles? Nice eagle. Creature of the planet. A fire eagle. Not bad. Unless the rare fish is any better. Horrible storm. Storms on lush worlds are the worst. Like, they look so bad. Like, so bad. And my ship should be here somewhere. I think we need to find a big ocean and try and find... Actually, for the fact that there's supposed to be extreme sentinels here, we're being a bit lucky. I've not seen a sentinel yet. Why didn't I park next to the ocean? Like, shouldn't my ship be near here? Cannot see it. Right, anyway, I'm coming up to four hours, and it's late at night, and I need to go to bed. I do have some free time tomorrow, hopefully. I think I will leave myself on this planet, and we'll finish it up tomorrow. Where we hope to continue. I'll leave a little save point here. Right, I hope you guys are enjoying this slow progress. It's been quite slow progress today, I have to say. I didn't get a huge amount done. But I guess we, we do have my ship sorted. We did make progress with a bit of money. I mean, things are happening, slowly but surely. Right, I will see you guys tomorrow. Miha says he's on his second week of exploring the Radican system. I think I've been there before. Well, I have been there before, but I think I know more about it than I should do. Looking for the perfect green or white lash. Be out there. Be out there somewhere.
Boiling monsoons this planet. Birds. That I want to scan. Right. Cue the epic music. Enjoy. Your first aid training tomorrow, so be on in the evening. Okay. Well, I'm not sure exactly. I might have a morning stream. I might not. And I might be going out in the evening, but I also might not. So I guess I'll see what happens. No promises. I mean, it's my hobby. It's not my day job. You guys will have to wait for me to do my hobby stuff. Right? Toodaloo. Let's see if I can actually click on the outro button. Get some music going. <laughs> 